Hey guys, this is JD's Eats and today we will bring you a tour of my JD's Eats food blogging studio and I got 15 likes on Instagram so if you guys haven't followed my Instagram please follow my Instagram uh, link on the description below on my Instagram and as well follow my Facebook too that's where I post my food content food reviews updates and news in Peg City and today we will bring a tour with Mr. DJ Osmo. So I got this on on Boxing Day. I think after Boxing Day. So that's what we're gonna film today with this. And what an exciting time to make a video. And before we make some food reviews or mukbangs, uh, we gotta film that tour first for y'all. And guys, further ado, let's get into the tour of my Jay's Eats studio. Now into the tour. This is the ring light. So I bought this for $55 Canadian, which is pretty worth it because you know it got on sale and good for the lighting for my video for YouTube. So that's why I bought it. This is the main part of our studio, JD's Eats. And this is where my dad built my studio just for me. And let's get into it. So we got this lovely looking table, uh, eating table, uh, my editing uh, table for now. L later on in the future, might have a different table for my editing. But for now, this is for both and studying as well. Uh, yeah, look how nice it is. It's kind of clean right now. And this is the plants. Nice looking plants for decorations, as you guys can see. Nice looking plant. We got a nice looking pot holder right there, as you guys can see. Not used to using the DJI Osmo. Gotta get used to it. Gotta learn how to do it more. Haven't used that a lot of it. And here we go. We got our mouse pad. A nice looking mouse pad and all. For armrest, nice armrest for there. And we got this Apple Magic Mouse. I really like it. Worth for your money. Good bank for a buck. And I don't know why I needed this. Just for my arm. Because I know it works well on this hard surface. And yeah, it works well in here. But mostly on the hard surface for each. I don't know why. But we've got the main part. Our MacBook Pro 2020. And we got my channel on here, as you guys can see. JD's Eats with 771 subs. And with our new video coming up later on. As you guys can see, look, premiere. So my past few videos, I got like 1K views already. And it's only been like a couple of days. Oh my God, as you guys can see, please watch those videos. And we're on the way to 1K subscribers. For the wall here, we got the always remember to give things. And for the next, uh, in the future, uh, whenever I do a food review on this restaurant, um, I'm gonna put the restaurant's name on there and stick it on that paper, in the clipboard in there. That's my plan. So for example, if I do a McDonald's food review, I'm gonna put always remember to give thanks, McDonald's, and that's where I put it there. Self-explanatory. And we got, I don't know what's that, but it's a nice looking decoration on the wall. And my dad's so genius. He uses the box as a shelf and he stick it on the wall. And here is a, I think a, a jar. And I think my dad said he's gonna put uh, vinegar as a decoration or props. And got a nice looking mortar and pestle uh, for decoration purposes. And then on the top here, we got the glass a dispenser, a water dispenser. And I think that's where I'm gonna put uh, water in there. So for props, so that's where I'm gonna drink during my food review or a mukbang. So that is my plan. Oh, we got the thankful sign in here, you know, thankful for the food and stuff. And we got the restaurante salsa picante bienvenido. 
uh, picture frame really nice and what's nice about this is i got the jd's eats a logo stick on the picture frame my dad made that look at that it looks really nice and presentable for the studio for my next few videos and in the future as well so more to come and we got a jar here m m a decoration and a wooden shelf right here and we got the pepper in here i'll demonstrate that to you guys i know it's gonna be a big mess but we gotta do it all right guys oh i forgot there's a salt and pepper in there Spur. Uh, shaker in there and this is the pepper shaker too oh it's falling apart already so this is gonna be hard to hold it for the camera try my best for y'all and you know what do you do here is you press this button here all right guys we're gonna demonstrate it i failed it with one hand but now i'm gonna do this with two hands so look this is the pepper uh, shaker whatever that's called Look at that, whenever I press this button, this colorful button, this thing lights up and pepper drops to the plate. And that's how it looks like for y'all. As you guys can see. I really like that sound. Wow. This is like a genius invention. And good thing you bought it just for the, this is for the props. So whenever uh, a chicken is bland, this is where I'll put this in place. Oh, I think I'm gonna need some pepper in here. And that's where I put pepper. So that's how it's gonna work for this. So guys, I wanna thank uh, my dad for building this JD's Eats food blending studio. I really like it. It's looking beautiful in here. And I'm gonna try to pursue her as a food blogger. Got inspired to do this by Mark Weens, uh, the Food Ranger, Strictly Dumpling, and the best ever food review show. So I'm gonna try to pursue my career in there and hopefully I can hit 1 million subscribers one day and as well 10 million subscribers, hopefully. Gotta keep grinding, you know, balance with school, work, and YouTube. And this is where I'm gonna film my food reviews and as well my bang. So more to come in the future of 2021 and so on. But anyway guys i got stuff to do work to do if you guys enjoyed the video please make sure to leave a like smash that subscribe button share this to anyone and comment for any suggestions guys can we hit 1k subscribers can we do it and guys this is jd's eats and guys see you guys next video